weeks. We have given out our picks. It is now time to switch on over and do some fantasy football work today if you guys want to get in on this fantasy football mock draft just checking dm us on info. if you want to participate in this fantasy football mock draft this is your last opportunity to get in on it just dm us on instagram but fumble sports you can dm us on instagram we are about to do a fantasy football mock draft while you guys are DMing us, DMing us on Instagram if you want to participate. We will get Jorge's last celebrity shot pickup on the board. Jorge is going to go with Manny Machado. And you are going to take Manny Machado over half a hit. That's over half a hit. I think that's a leg of a parlay. But... There you go. We do like Luisa Rise on over half a single today, Jorge. Okay, it is about time to do some fantasy football mock drafting. So we've got Frost in here, Joe Warren, Jorge the Goat, Ben Barnes, my nemesis, El Pinche, also known as Diego, and Butt Fumble Sports, the legend himself, right here. So everybody, welcome into our 12-team non-PPR snake mock draft. We do a different mock draft every day. Today's mock draft is going to be a 12-team, non-PPR, snake mock draft. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you for participating. Make sure you follow us. Make sure you subscribe and hit the like button on the video. It is time to get going on our mock draft. We are going to randomize the draft order. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Randomized. Okay, so new order is set. With that being the case... Let us get underway. And wouldn't you know, Ben Barnes, you're drafting in front of me again. The villain is in position to draft off of me again. Let's go. And we are underway. Justin Jefferson is the, is the first pick taken off the board. Very interesting. We're learning a lot. Every single mock draft. This is a 12-team mock draft. So we're learning a lot. Wide receiver. Rip on wide receiver. Diego goes chase. Team four goes Cooper Cup. Austin Eckler goes next. Ben Barnes now on. It's a non-PPR league, everybody. Keep in mind, non-PPR league. So interesting that wide receiver, a rip on wide receiver right now. Jefferson, Chase, and Cup go fast. I know, Jorge. My nemesis is in front of me, Ben Barnes. He takes Nick Chubb. That's what I expected him to do. What is PPR? Hammer Vice is asking what PPR is. It's points per reception. It means you get an additional point for every catch that you make. This is a non-PPR league, so no extra points. That said, rip on the wide receiver might have me a little bit concerned, but you guys know I care about the running back position too much. Non-PPR league. I'm still going to go with Bijan Robinson. Might be a bit of a reach here, but it means I'm just going to have to snag a bunch of running backs early in the draft so my nemesis went with nick chubb i'm gonna go with Bijan robinson so a rip on on running back after a rip on wide receiver travis kelsey goes next he was number one on the board so teammate takes travis kelsey i'm just opposed to taking a tight end with my first overall pick i just can't do it i can't justify it i know other teams do it and may be successful travis kelsey could have a massive year but there are other positions I value running back and wide receiver over tight end. So if you're one of those teams that drafts Travis Kelsey, congratulations. You got the best tight end in the league. I'd rather have a, uh, an RB1 than a TE1. I know he really follows into like a Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase kind of place. So Frost is on the clock. Let's see what Frost goes with. Elliot Robinson, there's no need to flag us. We're not doing anything wrong. Frost looks like he's going to be an auto draft. <clears throat> Who is the next best tight end? At least according to the big board, it is Mark Andrews, Hawkinson being third. By the way, this is not a snake draft. This is not a snake draft. I screwed that up. I screwed that up. So this is not a snake draft. This is a, a, a whip around draft. So even worse, it's actually not what I wanted to do. So forgive me. We are actually going to stop down. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to end the draft. I'm going to, ah, uh, no, we got to keep it because we're, we're already in it. 
So, apologies for that. I screwed up. Not what we wanted. Yeah, my mistake. So, this is a non-snake draft. A non-snake draft just makes it harder. Another draft. There are drafts that are like this. So, we're going to play it out. We're going to play it out. Tony Pollard goes next. Just means Team 1 and El Pinche have the advantage. Joe Warren, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to do that to you today. That's my fault. Joe Warren will make sure we overcome and compensate you with a good draft spot in the future. That said, this is another kind of mock draft. It's a non-snake draft. So this is a non-snake draft. This is just a different kind of draft. It challenges you. So, Team 1 took two good tight end, uh, two, two, uh, two good wide receivers, rather. Patrick Mahomes is off the board. Interesting. By the way, Joe Warren's the only one who really gets screwed by this. So sorry, Joe Warren. Definitely uh, my apologies on that. Rip on wide receiver. I'm going to stay with the running back position. I can get Brees Hall. I can get Ramondre Stevenson. I can get Josh Jacobs. I'll go with Brees Hall, I guess. Kind of a risky pick, but I will take it. I just like getting my, my two running backs now. Rip on the wide receiver continues, though. Wide receiver is the position of this round, that is for sure. By the way, Joe Warren, Derrick Henry, and Travis Etienne aren't exactly terrible plays. So, funny how you're making the most of it, Joe Warren. Very impressed by your fortitude. Mark Andrews is off the clock. Najee Harris goes next. Olave, Josh Allen. Now we hit Jorge the Goat. Jorge the Goat, where are you going to go? He goes Ramondre Stevenson. Good pick. Ben Barnes. I expect I know where he's going to go. Jameer Gibbs. That's what I expected. I thought he would take the running back that I like. That said, I'll go wide receiver, and I will go with Devontae Smith. Feel good about that being my wide receiver one. Teammates take Higgins. Now we get a run on quarterback. Lamar Jackson goes. Jalen Hurts goes. I think that's too early on a quarterback. I think round three is too early on a quarterback, even in a non-PPR. Joe Warren gets Debo Samuel. Good pick by Joe Warren. Joe Warren's doing a good job. Team one now has Joe Burrow, so he has a loaded team for obvious reasons. He's getting the first pick in every round. That's my mistake in how I did this one. But there are some leagues that actually do it this way. El Pinche goes next. Jamar Chase, Tony Pollard, Najee Harris. Where does El Pinche go? You got to feel like he's going to attack the wide receiver or running back position. He goes Amari Cooper. Kenneth Walker goes next. Kenneth Walker in the fourth round. Interesting. Calvin Ridley, Team 4 takes Calvin Ridley. Definitely a wide receiver I would have had my eye on if he was still on the board. Jorge the Goat, Ben Barnes go in front of me. Two very good drafters. So this is a tough spot for me. Just like Joe Warren, sometimes you get stuck in a bad spot in the draft. You got to look for value wherever you can, though. So we're in the middle of this fourth round. Jorge the Goat, where is he going to go? Quarterback, tight end, running back, wide receiver. Where does Jorge the Goat go? Hawkinson, interesting. The tight end position comes off the board. That is the third tight end taken in the draft. Ben Barnes goes Keenan Allen next. Whew. Interesting spot right here. Not crazy about the wide receivers that are up there. Not crazy about the running backs that are up there. But I'll take Aaron Jones. I'll take a bit of a flyer on Aaron Jones. Team A took Justin Fields. I expected Fields to go in the remainder of the round. But I'll take a flyer on Aaron Jones, just thinking that he's going to be incredibly important in that Packers offense with Jordan Love. So I think there's an opportunity there. Prediction on where Chase goes with Burrow being out. I don't think it's going to impact the overall value of Chase. I still think he's going to be a top five pick. DeAndre Hopkins goes. Joe Warren, appreciate your fortitude in this draft. Joe Warren, you are definitely the MVP of this draft with getting the butt end of things. Team 1 took J it take takes J.K. Dobbins. First running back he takes, it's J.K. Dobbins. That's an okay pick, but not crazy about it. George Kittle goes next. Terry McLaurin, Miles My Sanders, Jorge the Goat now up. Jorge the Goat. Wide receiver, quarterback, maybe another running back. Options for Jorge here. I feel like I know where Ben Barnes is going to go. So the question is, where does Jorge go with this pick? Very interesting. Now, in my head, I'm already building out con contingency plans, assuming one of the players I want comes off the board. Jorge the Go takes Mike Williams. 
I'm waiting on Ben Barnes to take one of the players I like. It's kind of how it's been when Ben has participated in these mock drafts. But this is a good example of you have to have a backup plan. Just like the NFL draft, when a player gets taken that you really wanted, if you're a team, you got to find another place to go. Interesting. Ben Barnes went with DeAndre Swift. That wasn't where I was going to go. I was definitely looking at the wide receiver position, and I am going to go DJ Moore. In the fifth round, I actually think that's a good pick. In the fourth round, I thought it was a reach. In the fifth round, I thought it was a good pick. Kyle Pitts goes, the next tight end taken. So we have seen five tight ends taken so far. They have gone pretty much exactly in order. Joe Warren, next on the clock. Joe Warren went with Dalvin Cook. I really like that play, Joe Warren. Really like that one as a good safety pick for your backup, your third running back. I think that's a really good one. Really like it. By the way, what is one thing no one is talking about? The fact that by sitting out, Dalvin Cook doesn't run the risk of injury, at least in training camp. One thing to think about. Trevor Lawrence comes off the board to Diego, also known as El Pinche. Dallas Goddard is gone. Another tight end off the board. Brandon Ayuk goes... Jorge the Goat is now up. He takes Jackson Smith and Jigba. Really good pick. Now, love that pick. He's got some good wide receivers. Jorge, once again, having a very good draft. Jorge, really like the draft that you're building. Ben Barnes now going. Where's Ben Barnes going to go? He's in an interesting spot. He takes Madison. Good idea. I definitely thought you were going to go there. I've got to double up on another, running, uh, another wide receiver. So I've got three running backs. I'm going to go three wide receivers. And I'm going to go Christian Kirk. Akers gone. Connor gone. Pacheco gone. So a run on y on a run on running back. Michael Pittman goes next. Joe Warren, who gets the butt end of every round, still continuing to make good picks. Let's see where he goes with this last pick. Tyler Lockett. Switching over, we're now into round seven. Marquise Hollywood Brown goes. Hate that pick from team one, but that's an auto draft, so... El Pinche goes. El Pinche took a quarterback last pick. He's gone in two, you know, non-primary positions in my mind with tight end and quarterback. So interesting, building out the rest of that roster. He has now pretty much the starting roster. White, Montgomery, Kamara, the run on running back. Getting your running back, so important. If you don't have three running backs by the end of round seven, I feel like you're in a terrible spot. Look at team eight. For example, look at team one, for example. Tough spot to be in. Jorge the Goat, where's he going to go? He's gone back-to-back -back wide receiver. Feel like he could use a quarterback. Maybe another running back. Maybe running back is the spot. The run on running back would maybe concern me. Because you could get really shut out at this point. Round seven. Fifth overall pick, Jorge the Go. Where is he going to go? For all those watching this mock draft, make sure you like our video. Make sure you hit the like button. And of course, subscribe and follow to Butt Fumble Sports across our platforms. Jorge the Go takes Jordan Addison. He took until the very last second on that one. Ben Barnes goes with Williams. Three running backs in the row. He now has five overall. Probably one too many. Could have used another position at this point. I'll look at quarterback. Not really crazy about the quarterbacks that I'm seeing. But I, when I've had the opportunity, I have gone with Dak Prescott and then a second quarterback. That's what I'm going to take. I just have to do it now. The run on quarterback happened much sooner than I thought. Once again, another draft in which quarterback is probably being overvalued slightly. Mike Evans, Tony... Johnson go next, Waller goes, and uh, A.J. Dillon. James Cook goes, so variety of different picks here. Pickens goes, Team 4 takes Njoku, that's a good pick. I would have taken Njoku if he had been up on the board. Quentin Johnston goes next as Jorge continues to add those rookie wide receivers. Jackson Smith and Jigba, Addison, Quentin Johnston. feel like Ben Barnes needs to go quarterback, tight end. Maybe another wide receiver, but it's getting late early out here because he has way too many running backs. Gabe Davis comes off the board. You guys know probably where I'm going. Might be a bit of a reach, but I am crazy about Zay Flowers. Love that he fell to me right there. Thought Ben was going to take him. Michael Thomas might be a steal in round eight. Nice pick. 
Evan Ingram comes off the board to Team 11, so the tight end position continues to load up for teams. Joe Warren, where is he going to go? Tough spot for Joe Warren here. He has maybe a run. Oh, he goes Brandon Cooks. I love that pick. Team 1 goes Charbonnet. El Pinche, also known as Diego. He makes some picks now. Let's see where Diego goes with his second pick of the ninth round. Make sure you're tapping that like button. Elliot, we will be doing college football picks as well. Joe Warren, I think Cook signing with the Jets, Dolphins, Patriots, or Bills would all make sense and would all benefit you. I think Dalvin Cook could end up being a steal. El Pinche goes Elijah Moore, not a bad pick. Brian Robinson and Herbert, two running backs, go off the board next. Jorge the Goat has taken four wide receivers in a row, five overall, probably one too many for the moment. P. Ryan comes off the board. Fryermuth comes off the board. That's a good pick. Man, I'm in a tough spot. I'll take Dalton Kincaid. I'll go with the rookie. Fryermuth would definitely have been a consideration. Quarterbacks go to the auto draft. Oh, man. Team 8 has two quarterbacks now. Joe Warren takes golf. The quarterbacks are going fast and furious now. You're seeing around round 9 is where a lot of these quarterbacks are going. Round 9. So interesting to note that at least for the auto drafting teams in, in a 12-team, non-snake, non-PPR, round 9 seems to be where they are drafting a lot of their quarterbacks. El Pinche is now on the clock. Where does El Pinche go? Final seconds for El Pinche to make a selection. He goes Cowboys defense. Absolutely a reach to go go defense in the in the 10th round. I don't agree with what Diego did. Clearly a Cowboys fan or infatuated with their defense, but I think that's a reach. I think there are too many other positions of need. I feel like you're waiting until round maybe 12 to go after a defense, maybe round 13, but I think that's a bit of a reach. And I think always when you have a team select a defense, it throws off the draft. Are other teams going to start tailing that, start to go and chase after a defense too early? We'll have to see, but it's one that I'm not crazy about. Egg, is DK Metcalf a safe pick? I wouldn't say safe only because he does have a, a slight injury history over the course of his college and NFL career. But Egg, I absolutely like DK Metcalf, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. McKinnon comes off the board for Jorge the Goat. Where will Ben Barnes go? He goes Aaron Rodgers, gets a quarterback. Not a bad one given how long he waited. That said, I'm going to double down on the tight end position and I'm going to go with two rookie tight ends and just believe one of them is going to be a success. Actually, nah, as much as I was going to take Sam Laporta, I fake myself out. I'll take Cole Komet. So I'll double up on tight end in round 9 and round 10. Sutton goes. Bateman goes. I was thinking Frost. That's a good pick. I actually think Bateman could be a good play. I know Frost is on auto pick, but I actually think Bateman could actually be a steal given the Oriole, uh, the Orioles... Given the Ravens have added so many other players, he might be a good play. Jamison Williams, Joe Warren taking a bit of a, a sleeper there, seeing if he can cash in on Jamison Williams. Damian Harris off the board. El Pinche back on the clock. He got his de defense. He goes Sam Laporta. Nice play. Cousins gone. Geno Smith gone. Those were two quarterbacks I was looking at as a backup quarterback. Probably the position I'm going to be looking at right now since I already have... I could also use another running back. I haven't taken a running back since the fourth round, so there's something on my mind. Jorge the Goat on the clock. Jorge the Goat and Ben Barnes making their selections before I go. Tyler Algier, that's where I was going to go. Jorge the Goat with a nice find. Ben Barnes. takes Bryce Young interesting pick I'm going to take Elijah Moore I needed a running back and I like the fact that it's San Francisco Alan Lazard goes next Dulcich then Daniel Jones Jacoby Myers that's a nice pick by team 11 with the 11th overall round pick that's not bad Johnson goes to a tight end finally for Joe Warren Thielen Pickett Beckham Miller 
So, we are now in round 12. Jorge the Goat, where is he going to go? Could he get a could he finally get a quarterback? Jorge the Goat hasn't drafted a quarterback yet. Man, tough spot if you're looking for a quarterback now. Wow, Jorge the Goat. He takes Russell Wilson, but wow, shocked, shocked, shocked. Ben Barnes will take Michael Mayer. We've now entered the final four rounds of the draft, which means I now do feel comfortable going after a tight end. I will take the 49ers defense, second defense off the board. Once we hit the final four rounds, round 12, round 13, I could just see being a run on defense, so that's why I jumped on it. El Pinche took a, a defense in round 10. I thought that was too early. Round 12, though, rounds 12, 13, 14 are where I feel comfortable. Again, given that... Oh, Ezekiel Elliott just got picked by Team 3. He's visiting with the Patriots today. So, Ezekiel Elliott, much like Dalvin Cook, could end up being a steal, depending on which, which round you take him in. Jorge the Goat took Russell Wilson with his last pick. Where is he going to go? He takes the Eagles defense. We've entered that part of the draft, round 13. Defense might be a good pick right now. Eagles goes next. Will Ben Barnes go defense? Will he go running back? He goes Jets defense. I'm, especially with Kadarius Tony out, I'm hearing nothing but good things about Rasheed Rice. He could be an absolute steal. I'll draft him as another wide receiver. Moster, Johnson, and Sky Moore go next. Bigsby in the Steelers defense. Team one takes the first kicker. Notice the first kicker goes in round 14, and it's a rip of kickers. Round 14, four kickers in a row. Round 14, it tells you this is a round that's appropriate for a kicker. If you're drafting a kicker before rounds maybe 13, 14, you are making a mistake. So if you're taking a kicker in round 14, it makes sense to me. Interesting, the rip of kickers and still on the board is Brandon McManus. He's the one that I may like the most this year outside of Tucker and McPherson. Rip on kickers. Everybody is taking a kicker in this round. Every single team's taking a kicker except Joe Warren. Joe Warren, are you going to go against the tide? Rip on kickers in this round 14. Every team in our mock draft took a kicker in round 14. That tells you all you need to know about where that round should be prioritized and where the kicker position should be prioritized. Giants defense off the clock. Final round for everybody, so interesting to see where the picks go. Egg, absolutely not. Ramondre Stevenson is an RB1. Doesn't matter who's backing him up. He is going to get plenty of touches, plenty of opportunities. And Egg, yes, we are live on YouTube. You can also check out all of our mock drafts. We do a mock draft every day. We post them onto YouTube. Different versions. Snake, non-snake like this one. PPR, non-PPR. To 8-man, 10-man, 12-man, 14-man leagues. They're all up on YouTube. Romeo Dobbs drafted. It's clearly where the teams that haven't taken a defense yet are taking them. This is a time, though, to get the final picks of your team. So if there is a position of need, get on it now. Rondale Moore, not crazy about him. Gerald Everett, another good tight end, is up there. Again, Jorge the Goat hasn't taken a tight end. If he took Gerald Everett, might be a decent play right now. Not a single tight end for Jorge the Goat. He has his defense. He has his kicker. He doesn't... Oh, he does. He's got Hawkinson. What am I talking about? Never mind, Jorge. You got a good tight end. You took Osborne. Where will Ben Barnes go? Ben Barnes didn't screw up my draft like he normally does. I'm very happy about that. Maybe it's only in a snake draft he does that. Where will Ben Barnes go with his pick? The sixth overall pick of this round 15. He's gone defense and kicker. Where will he go? He goes Patriots defense. And he's doubling up on defense. It's not a bad idea. I think it could be a smart play overall. In fact, there are no really good defenses remaining. Otherwise, I might have considered that myself. But because there are no real defenses that I'm crazy about... Might want to look towards another another position. Once again, tight end. I have a lot of tight ends. Wide receiver. I have a lot of wide receivers. I'll take a, a bit of a flyer. I'll go with Jeff Wilson. With the Miami 
You know what? No, I'm not because of the Dalvin Cook risk. Because Dalvin Cook might go to Miami, I actually like Jalen Warren more. So I'll take Jalen Warren, the running back. Teammate goes defense. Team 9, Frost goes defense. Team 10, defense. Team 11, defense. You're seeing round 14 was made for kickers. Round, four, uh, round 15 made for defenses. And that is our mock draft, everybody. It went very fast. Want to give a shout out to Joe Warren. He got the worst of it because it was a non-snake draft. And so he was in the last pick every round. Still did a good job. Let's break down the draft pick by pick. Looking at it, Justin Jefferson. This team won. Really strong start. Jefferson, Lamb, Andrews, and Burrow. But Dobbins is your first running back. You don't get a second running back until James Cook and Charbonnet at 8-9. I think team one is too top-heavy. If, Jess if Jefferson gets hurt, if Burrow is injured... If, and, if Andrew's production goes down because of Flowers and Odell Beckham Jr., then this team isn't nearly as good as it looks, at least at first blush. El Pinche, Chase, interesting. Surprised you didn't go running back first, but that's fine. You got Pollard, you got Harris, two good running backs, Amari Cooper, Kittle, Lawrence. Think you might have been able to take a running back a little sooner. You could have waited on tight end. You could have waited on quarterback, maybe shifted up the priority to running back in maybe round five, round six. But overall, good starting lineup. I think Elijah Moore could be a really good pick. I thought you took the Cowboys defense too early. I think that was what was the mistake of the draft for me with, with your picks. I just thought he went a little too early on that Cowboys defensive pick in round 10. You could have waited. Sam Laporta, I like, but again, probably could have waited another round on him. Pickett and Lawrence, interesting tandem. You got the McPherson defense as your, or McPherson as your kicker and added Romeo Dobbs in the end. Dobbs could actually end up being a steal. So interesting, you got a good steal there. Team three, McCaffrey, Mahomes, Olave. Love how he starts out with those three. Kenneth Walker, the third, not a bad fourth pick. McLaurin, okay, Goddard. Decent starting lineup overall. I know you're really asking Mahomes and McCaffrey to stay healthy. That's the, that's the real hope there. Brian Robinson, interesting pick in round nine. Cousins as the backup to Mahomes. I kind of like that. Beckham and Elliott, what are you building? The all-star team of the past. Very interesting there. And you took the Seahawks defense. Curious about that. Team four, Cooper Cup, Diggs, Allen. Ridley, so three wide receivers. Sanders, the first running back, just waited too long on running back. Do like Njoku there, that's a good pick. Geno Smith could be a nice backup. Boyd, that was a steal in round 13. That was actually one of the better picks of the draft, maybe. Butker was your kicker, I like that. Commander's defense might be better than people think. Jorge did a nice job on his draft, as always. Eckler, love it. A.J. Brown, love it. Stevenson, Eckler and Stevenson might be the best one-two punch in terms of running back of our draft so far. Hawk, uh, Hawkinson, love that tight end pick. Then you went on a rip of running on, on wide receivers. And what I love about this is what you're really banking on is two of the four are going to have a good week. And I think that's a good group between Williams, Jackson Smith and Jigba, Jordan Addison and Quentin Johnston. I thought Jorge had a really good draft through the first eight rounds. P. Ryan, I'm not crazy about it. It's okay. I thought McKinnon and Algier were actually very... I actually liked them more than P. Ryan. maybe. The problem I had is you didn't get a quarterback. You waited too long. Russell Wilson, even if he has a bounce back year, you're probably looking towards the waiver wire to pick up a quarterback. Doesn't mean that a good one doesn't become available, but I thought that you could have actually not taken P. Ryan, drafted a quarterback there, and you still would have gotten McKinnon and Algier. That was the where you missed. Love the Eagles defense. Love the draft overall. I think K.J. Osborne could be a steal. Bass, good numbers. So, Jorge, I think you've had the best draft of anyone we've evaluated so far. Let's look at Ben Barnes. Nick Chubb, like the pick. Amon Ross St. Brown, like it. Jameer Gibbs, I like it. Allen, I'm not as big on him, but I understand why, given you needed the second wide receiver. Then a rip on running back, smart. But it meant you probably took a wide receiver one round too late. You probably could have taken a, a wide receiver in round seven. You didn't need to take three running backs after you already had two. So I thought that was just getting a little bit greedy. Wasn't exactly a good planning play. Fryermuth, good tight end pick. Mayer, good tight end pick. But again, 
The fact that you didn't take a quarterback maybe when you did, or you could have taken something else, another wide receiver, I think that's what hurt you. Only three wide receivers in the entire draft. Not a good position. Then again, wide receiver, you can't get guys off the waiver wire, so just something you can consider. Yeah, the non-snake threw us all off. That's on me. My fault on that one. But good research for those who may not do a non-snake. Good research. Elliot, we'll see you tomorrow. That said, let's look at my team. B. John Robinson, Brees Hall, hoping those two youngsters can stay healthy for a full season. Probably won't happen. Aaron Jones was my third running back, and I then didn't take another running back until Mitchell. I waited too long on running back. That's a mistake on me. I probably should have loaded up on another running back instead of maybe DJ Moore, maybe Christian Kirk. Pick one of those two, not both of them. That said, Devontae Smith I like. Really love that I got Zay Flowers. Tight end, I was feeling the stress, so I got Dalton Kincaid. He could end up being a nice pick. Pairing him with Cole uh, Komet, not bad. Got my defense maybe one round earlier than everyone else. Allowed me to get the defense I really wanted. I think Rice could end up being a steal. I think McManus is actually my favorite kicker of the group outside of maybe the top two or three. And I did get another running back just because I needed that position. Teammate, Kelsey, Jacobs, Higgins, and Fields. Man, you're really hoping that last year kind of plays itself out identically this year. Don't think it will. I think you're taking some flyers on Tua, Michael Thomas, Sutton, and Lazard. Interesting, but I'm not crazy about teammate overall. They're a very boom or bust kind of team. Frost took Hill, Devontae Adams, two good wide receivers to start, then Lamar Jackson. Mixon and Connor aren't actually a bad one-two running back combination to draft at four and six, giving you weighted on it. Tony, hopefully he's healthy. If he is, good pick. Bateman might also be a nice one there. Tight end between Dulcich and Pitts. You might have something. Mooney could be a nice steal in the 12th round. Team 10, Barkley and Pierce is your running backs. I actually think that's a pretty good two combination. You got Garrett Wilson. I like that. Jalen Hurts. I was surprised that running backs went as as strongly as they did in the third round. But Hurts, can't argue with it. He is an MVP candidate I would consider this year. Pacheco, that's a nice pick in round six. Gibson might be a nice pick in round eight. Waller, okay. Those are good picks at the tight end position. Quarterback, Daniel Jones, just interesting. I thought Sky Moore Moore was a nice pick as well. What round do you think I can get Jared Goff? I'd wait on Jared Goff probably until like when you need a a second uh, quarterback. So maybe even like the 10th, 11th round, maybe even the 12th. You could get him late. I think in this draft, he went pretty late. He went in the ninth round here. We had a run on quarterbacks maybe a bit earlier than we should. So I would say probably the 10th or 11th round is appropriate for Jared Goff. Team 11, Taylor at the top, but didn't get another running back to Penny uh, in the the ninth round. Don't like that. Waddle and Metcalf, really good wide receivers, but loaded up on too many wide receivers. That's where I think Team 11 failed. Ultimately, I think Joe Warren had a good draft. Given that he was in the absolute worst position in this draft, I think he did a good job on it. Henry and Etienne, that's a really good one-two running back combo. Samuel and Hopkins, not bad for given where you were picking. I think Dalvin Cook could be a steal. Lockett, if he stays healthy, he could have good numbers. It's just about the targets that he's going to get. Could he be the odd man out in that in that wide receiver group? A.J. Dillon, you know he's going to get some touchdowns in the red zone. Brandon Cooks could actually be a really good pick with the Dallas Cowboys. Jared Goff is your quarterback. I actually like that. Waiting on a good quarterback and getting him in round nine. Tight end is probably where you probably missed. You were just a little late on the tight end run. Your defense is the Steelers. Okay. Good. You waited on that position again. You're in a tough spot because you're riding the wave after every draft. After everyone else drafts. So that's our fantasy football mock draft for today. Friday, July, or sorry, Saturday, July 29th. That is our fantasy football mock draft for Saturday, July 29th. Make sure you guys are following us. Make sure you're subscribing. Make sure you hit the like button on the video and make sure you join us every single day. But Fumble Sports is live every single day and we do a mock draft every day. So if you want to get in on our mock draft, make sure you hit us up on Instagram. DM us, Butt Fumble Sports on Instagram, and we will share a link with you guys so you can participate in our fantasy football mock draft every single day. Now, with that said, we have given out a lot of picks today, and I need to go put them on our website so you can go review them. 
There isn't a baseball game starting until 3.07, so plenty of time, about an hour, for you guys to check out those picks. Make sure you go to our website. Make sure you go to buttfumblesports.com. It's on your screen right now. Go to buttfumblesports.com, and we will give out all of our picks. I'm going to go post that, that blog right this second. So if you want all of our MLB game picks, our player prop bets, all of our picks across sports, make sure you go check them out right now on our website, buttfumblesports.com. Appreciate all of you guys joining us. Make sure you guys are following us. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you're part of this wonderful Butt Fumble Sports community. We will be live tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern because if it's 12 p.m. on the East Coast, Butt Fumble Sports is here on TikTok Live, YouTube, Twitch, and Kick, talking sports with you, real sports fans from all around the country, all around the world. Appreciate the support that you guys show us every single day, and a big shout out to my producer behind the scenes, doing a great job. Appreciate all of your help. For all those who join the show, you know how we end it every day. I hope you guys stay healthy. I hope you stay safe. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon and evening, and I hope you cash a ton of tickets tonight. And by the way, yes, the big fights for UFC and boxing are going down. Cannot wait to rant about those later tonight. We will see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern, talking sports like we do every day. But until then, have a great evening, everybody.